Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. This recipe is a total different one I've never, ever made before. It looked very good to me when I saw it on Pinterest. Hi, Vanita. Those are coming in. Thank you for coming in. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for coming in. Let me go ahead and share this out, and then I'll ask for a share myself. Let me go ahead and do that, and I'm going to share it out. And um, I see Erlene came in. Hi, sis. Good to see you. I haven't talked to you all morning. Hope you're doing okay. Um, I'm trying to share this out. So if you're talking, I can't see it right away. I'm trying to until I get this done. Okay, there we go. Hi, good to see you. Thank you to everybody for coming in. Let's hope and pray that we don't have any drama today, but we're prepared for it if we get it. Um, so, this is only a five-ingredient dip. And basically what this dip is for is basically to dip your fruits in, like your strawberries, your raspberries, and stuff like that. You can even put it... Oh, uh, you got to go get Tristan. Okay. Um, basically, it's to, like I said, to dip your strawberries and any fresh strawberries in. Or you can take a bowl of fruit, and then you can put this dip on top of your fruit. Because it's real good that way. It's not a, it's not a droop. And like I said, it's not a dip for tortilla chips or anything like that. It's for your fruits. And, uh... Hi, Stacy. You finally came into one of my scopes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my... I'm going to use my Vitamix, and I'm going to put my cup and a quarter of my... Unsweetened almond milk in here first, because you gotta have you gotta have a that stuff at the bottom. You gotta cover your blades. Okay, now it calls for a cup and a half, a cup and a half of raw almonds, and that's all these are is raw almonds. I keep them in an air as a, in a jar that's real airtight. Oh, good! I'm glad you did. And see, these are real good almonds. I bought these at the store a while back. I buy a whole bunch of almonds at once, and I keep them in an airtight container. So I'll put those in here. And then it calls for two-thirds cup of dates, which I've already got those measured out. They're pitted dates. Hi, Tammy. Good to see you. So I'll put those in here. And then one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Well, we know I don't use co cocoa powder. I use carob. So I'll put my one tablespoon of carob in here. And this ought to be really good. This will be a different kind of dip I've ever had before. And then one teaspoon of vanilla powder. I don't have vanilla powder, so they said if you don't have vanilla powder, you can go ahead and use vanilla extract, which I have the non-alcoholic vanilla abstract, extract that I get from, from uh, Amazon. Better do this right-handed because I'm right-handed. There we go. All right. So let me put this lid back on. I'm going to go ahead and put this away so I don't break, break, break it. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up in my blender. Where did I put my lid? Oh, here it is. Oh, <laughs> oh Tammy, so far so good. We haven't got the drama hasn't started yet. But uh, we'll be prepared for it if it does. Let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> Let's just hope it doesn't. And I'm going to take this off in case I need my... Well, I'll let me leave that on until I see if I'm going to need my tamper. I may not because i got plenty of milk in here. This, you just have to mix this and uh, you just have to blend it until it's real smooth. Well, thank you for the super hearts. Oh, God bless you. you got two days in a row. I'm am You're amazing. Thank you so much. It's not allowed because of the almonds. Yep, that's what I'm going to do right. Mm. Okay. Didn't need the tamper after all. Okay. Now I want you to see this. Doesn't that look good? Look at this. Um, I'll take this and shut this off. i got to put it in a container. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in a jar. Um, let's see. Hopefully I can scoop this in a jar okay. Let me get a... Um, thank you for all the super hearts. God bless you guys. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. So let me put this down so you can see what I'm doing. I always forget that because it's it's hard. I've got to put my tripod so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now you see what I'm putting, that I'm putting it in my jar here. Making it a little bit of a mess, but yeah, that's the way it goes. This must be refrigerated. And they said it'll keep it in the refrigerator 10 days. So if you've got a family and you make this, it will keep at least 10 days. So that's good. And as much as I like, as I like stuff on my strawberries, you know, just buy some strawberries, raspberries and stuff. And, and uh, go ahead and dip them in there. I'll have to clean this jar up. Sorry about that. It's, it gets, gets real messy, but I want to get this out of here. And this, everybody knows this is a Pampered Chef spoon. But I heard a dip, I thought, a dip, and I thought, well, I washed it, and it showed that you'd take a strawberry, like a fresh strawberry, and you know when strawberries are in season, they're so good, and take it and dip it in there, it'll be so good. Like I said, or you can take a bowl of fruit, and you can put it on your, a bowl of fruit, like your strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, whatever your bowl of fruit might be, and then put this on top, dollop it on top, and have a good um, meal out of it. that out later but wow you know that's very very good stuff mm. of course we know carob is very good compared to your um let me clean this off there now let me put this up and then you can see i'll just hold the jar up there now you can see it in the jar let me put it on a spoon um let me get a spoon and i can put it on a spoon and you can see it easier There's what it looks like. Doesn't it look good? Doesn't that look good? It makes it taste so good. Oh, man. Absolutely delicious. Everybody can try this. I can really try this because this looks so good. Blessings to you, too, Libby. This is my uh, dip. It makes eight and makes two cups. Basically, what this is for, if you've got strawberries, you've got raspberries, because there's no sugar in here. It's your dates that are the cause the sweetness. So I use carob. And then you got your almond milk. You got your dates. And you've got, let me, look, let me look at the recipe again. I always forget what I put in it. Okay, this is what it calls for. One and a half cup of raw almonds. A cup and a fourth of unsweetened almond milk. I doesn't it though? Look at that. Um, two thirds cup of dates pitted. A tablespoon of cocoa powder, which I know is I use carob, and a teaspoon of vanilla powder or vanilla extract. And being as I don't use um, vanilla, I don't have vanilla powder. I just use the extract. But look at that! This is a lot of good eating. Like I said, you put get some strawberries and just dip your strawberries in it. It's real good eating. Um, put it on a bowl of fruit. You could probably, if you want to, put it on your cereal too. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. But if you have a, you know, like strawberries. Um, cherries or whatever i know i know it does doesn't it it i didn't think it would ever come out this good when i saw this this morning on pinterest i thought oh my goodness i've got to make this because it's only five ingredients and it looks so good <laughs> Earlene, i see you come back this i mean this looks so good and so easy to make and i'm gonna post it up on my my vegan facebook page um if you're not following me on there it's karen's vegan heaven uh you know something? I don't deserve what you're giving me. You know something? I don't deserve that. But you know something? God loves you and I love you. And I'm before I block you, I hope you have a blessed day. And I hope you're saved someday. I do not beat my dogs. I don't know. I don't understand why you're why you're doing this to me. You are horrible. You are a horrible, horrible person. Horrible person. Horrible. Yep. There we go. Isn't that awful? Starting already, not in more than five minutes. Not in more than five minutes, and I've got, I've got, oh, Stacy, I didn't tell you, I've got draw a lot of drama in here. I've got a stalker that's following me. He makes, he'll make five, 10, 15, 20 accounts, and he'll come in here several times a day, and he'll, sell, he'll say some real bad stuff. Um, people have to mark him for abuse, and I have to block him. I've been blocking him, so many of them. And they'll even use, they'll even use uh, my pictures in it. 
They'll take Alexis's pictures. They'll put. They'll take other people's pictures and start using them. Oh, good. I'm glad you did, Erlene. Yes, I know. You know, but that's the way it is, Stacy. There's people are going to cause a lot of problems. You know, I don't beat my dogs. You know, and I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna uh, kill him with kindness. He says I beat Chewy. Most of the time they call me a slumlord. Well, that's a new one. I beat Chewy. <laughs> I don't beat Chewy. Oh my goodness. I just I just gotta block them and move on. But look at this. Those are just coming in. Doesn't this look good? Um, this is very simple to make. If you got a high speed blender, I recommend a high speed blender. Now I, don't, I know Stacy's got a blend check. It would work in there too. Um, I don't know, Erlene. He is a glutton for punishment. I'll tell you. Doesn't he understand that every time he, he makes an account and he says bad things, he's going to get blocked? Or maybe he doesn't care. But the more he's blocked, and if he's got for abuse, I think the Periscope will take a notice of that. This guy is, is horrible. I, the whole thing, I think what it is, he's, he's one of Satan's minions and he's trying to get me off of Periscope. Or trying to get me riled up. But I choose not to get riled up. I choose to be, a, ah, hi Alexis, you missed the drama. Had one in here already, I just had to block. Yeah, I know that's really stupid. Here's my here's my dip, Alexis, and you use this to uh, dip your strawberries in, your raspberries, or whatever you might have. And you could take a bowl of fruit and you could uh, put this on top of a bowl of fruit. Um, oh no, pictures being taken again. Oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna post this on my vegan Facebook group. Um, yes, that's all we can do is pray for him. He, it was a John Harris 1959, and I thought he was a good, he was a good guy, but then he came in and, and what he said, and I had to block him. So, best thing you can do is, is try to get him for abuse. That's what Periscope told me. They said, bad people come in, try to, try to report them or block them. You know, um, oh, green cameras. Oh, yes, I see that. Somebody's taking screenshots again. Oh, uh, see, there he is again. Uh, oh my goodness. You know something? God loves you and I love you. And I hope you're saved someday. I don't know why you're doing this, but you know, it is what it is. You know something? I'm not mad at you. I don't hate you for it. I don't hate you one bit. God bless you anyway. Yeah, I see you did. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, um, go ahead and block him right now. I saw him come in and I, you know, wow. <laughs> I, well, I, I kind of wondered when he came in if that was a, that guy's got a lot of time on his hands to keep making it. It's the same one that came in the, the, that as John Harris, 1959. The same picture. So you know it's the same guy doing it. He's got a lot of time on his hands. Man, I wish I had that kind of time on my... I, I mean, I can't uh, take care of one account, let alone 15 or 20. He reminds me of Charles Diana, although although I think Charles Diana didn't... Yes, I noticed it's flashing. Somebody's screwed. Yes, I did. I blocked him, and I, I, I suggest that People in here, if you can, try to report him. Um, yeah, you're right. They, John Harris, it's Laura. John Harris of 1959 came in and told me I beat Chewy, and then he came in and called me a slumlord um, with a different name. So, hi, John. Good to see you. Welcome. Um, here is my dip, and you use it for your fruits. I thought this was a real good dip. Those that are just coming in, Alexis and that, I'll tell you what I have in here. Um, it's a cup and a half of raw almonds. A quarter, a cup and a quarter of unsweetened almond milk, two thirds a uh, cup of dates, pitted dates. I just buy pitted dates. Um, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, which I, everybody knows I use. I use carob, and a teaspoon of vanilla powder, which I did not have vanilla powder, so they said you can use um, vanilla extract, and that's all it takes. Five ingredients. Yep, yep. They've been coming in. I, I, I blocked two of them already. <laughs> I'm just killing them with kindness. I don't know if they like it or not. I keep killing them with kindness. <laughs> I'm not mad at them. I just told them I'm not mad at you. <laughs> I don't hate them for it. <laughs> I just think it's stupid. <laughs> but this is a real simple thing to make. Yeah, I know. It is. It is. Of course, I know those that are not vegan and want to use your cocoa powder, go right ahead. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, 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 Marion. Uh, you missed the drama, but that's a good thing. I see those cameras coming up. Somebody's been taking screenshots again. But this is a real simple recipe. Um, <laughs> you tell them, sweetie. You tell them. You tell them. <laughs> um, just in passing, my daughter's having her 
44th birthday tomorrow. And when I come on tomorrow, we're, I'm going to sing happy birthday to her. So if you guys want to wish her a happy birthday tomorrow, that'd be great. Now, Alexis already knows it's her birthday tomorrow. But I told her this morning, I'll come in and sing happy birthday to her tomorrow. Because uh, it makes me realize how old I'm getting. But uh, <laughs> So we're, so that's going to be a good good scope tomorrow. Um, but this is a real good Hi, hi, Shorty. Yay, good to see you. Oh, I see you driving. Hi, Shorty. Here, can you see my, my, uh, doesn't this look good? It's only got five ingredients. Yeah, I got your message. Thank you for telling me. And I think I'm going to have to, I don't know if I'm following you on this one. Maybe I better follow you. Let's see if I am. Uh, I don't know if I'm following you or not, but let me go look. No, nope, let me go ahead. There we go. There we go. I just followed you, Shorty, because I didn't have that one. Yeah, let me t let me let me give you the ingredients. It's a cup and a, a half of raw almonds, um, and a cup and a quarter of unsweetened coke, uh, almond milk, which is what I normally use anyway. Um, two thirds a uh, table a cup of dates, and that's a pit of dates. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, they must be jealous or something. That's what it is. So they got to compare their picture to mine, maybe. <laughs> Um, uh, one tablespoon of um, cocoa powder, but everybody knows, knows I use carob. And then one teaspoon of vanilla powder, which is, um, I now use vanilla extract instead of, of vanilla powder. Yeah, this doesn't have any sugar in it. It's because of your dates. Your, your two-thirds cup of dates gives it the sweetness that you need. So there's no sugar in here. And that's what makes this really, really good. Hi, Callie. Good to see you. Welcome. Um and that gives us the sweetness. Five ingredients. And you just put it in a in a glass container, put it in your refrigerator, and you can it'll keep up to ten days. But if you buy something buy, you know with strawberry season out and you can use blueberries too, you can dip blueberries in it or whatever. Raspberries. Like I said, I love strawberries. I'll have to get me some strawberries and I'll start dipping them in here. Good to see you, John. Welcome. Hi, good to see you, Kelly. Don't you don't doesn't this look good? I mixed it up in my Vitamix. Um, where do I buy my carob? I have got my carob on, on Amazon. Now, if you have a Whole Foods and a Trader Joe's, you might be able to get it there, but I buy mine at, at uh, through Amazon. Um, and it's the Chatfields is what I get. Um, because I, I, I'm a Prime, Amazon Prime member, so I get a lot of my stuff there. But, um, we do have an, uh, Whole Foods and a Trader Joe's here. However, I don't, uh, go shopping there. It's easier for me just to sit in my chair and just go, just to use Amazon. But, um, just check around a shorty and see if you, if they have anything. They might. Um, I would think that, uh, Whole Foods or, um, Trader Joe's would have it. Um, like I've never been there far to shop, but I think so. But if you can't get it there, just get it at Amazon. But it's really good because we know that cocoa powder itself is unsweetened, you know, but this carob is naturally sweet anyway. Oh, there's both in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah, that's right. You're in Pittsburgh, so it'd be both, both, um, both of them would be in there. That's good. So, uh, yeah, bigger areas probably like Detroit, Indianapolis. Um, I'm not surprised. I don't know if St. Louis has them or not, but some of your bigger cities, Chicago would probably have them. But that's where I usually get mine. Like I said, through Amazon because I do a lot of shopping there. But you can feel free to get them if you try them at, at Trader Joe's. Uh, Oh, you're an hour and a half from Pittsburgh? Oh, my. <laughs> oh, well, Libby, with the exception of the of the drama already, it's very good. My day is very, very good. Absolutely. Even the drama, it kind of makes me laugh. It does. It really makes me laugh. And I saw that Alexis this morning, I watched her replay, and it was towards the very end of her scope, because she messaged me this morning, about 5 o'clock this morning, my time, and said that she had to block two people that were in her scope this morning. Well, I blocked those same two yesterday. So I kept watching her replay and watching her replay. And I thought, well, where did these guys come in at? Well, they came in at the very, very end. Um, the, the Brandon Vox. Of course, I wouldn't see him post anything because I already have them blocked. But they one came in, that Karen Slumlord came in and that Brandon Vox. So she blocked both, both of them and let me know. Um, yeah, somebody's doing screenshots. They did it on Friday too. Somebody's doing screenshots to hold everything against me. Uh, okay. All right, Shorty. Thank you for coming in. Hi, Cheryl. Here's my, uh, here's my dip. Uh, yeah, somebody's, like somebody said, they must love me. They must love me really good. And I'm so pretty that they got to take my picture. 
I'm, I'm photogenic, I guess. I really must be photogenic. <laughs> Bye. Good to see you. Take care and God bless. I guess I'm really photogenic. That's nice to know, you know. <laughs> Bye. Good to see you. Here's my, <laughs> here's my, uh, my dip. If you use it for strawberries. You don't buy strawberries and dip your strawberries in it. Uh, this has got, um, dates in it, which makes it sweet because you know your carob or your, Cocoa powder wouldn't be all that much sweetness in it, although carob's got some sweetness over your cocoa powder. And it's a two-thirds cup of dates, and that's the sweetness in here. No sugar. Uh. <laughs> well, you know something? I wish they didn't want to take my picture at all. That's so funny. You know, I, I, wish, <laughs> I wish they didn't want to take my picture. I'm not... I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm not here to have my picture taken. I'm here to show you how to, how to make foods, you know. And <laughs> they don't have to, they can go on and move on to somebody else as far as I'm concerned. Leave me alone. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to get mad at them. I mean, they're, they're doing it for a certain way. Who knows? I mean, let them, just let them be. You know, they're not going to hurt me. And hi, Daniel. Long time no see. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thank you, Cheryl. I'm, well, you know something? It takes a lot less um, muscles to frown than it does to smile, or a lot, lot, lot smile than frown. I figured, life is too short. You might as well smile. You know, smile and the whole world smiles with you. You know, if I put on a smile on my face, then people are going to smile back. You know, and if somebody's having a bad day, just smile at them. You never know what it can do for them because their day may even go better, you know. Um, kill them with kindness, as I say. You know, I smile at people when I see them in the store. They probably think I'm crazy because I'm smiling and they're not, but I just keep on smiling. Yeah, it is. It's good like a medicine. You're right. It certainly is. But if people don't want to smile back, that's their, that's their prerogative. They don't, you know, they don't have to smile if they don't want to. But I like smiling back at people because I think it's, I'm going to try to put this back. I'm going to put my, put my camera back a little bit. There we go. Now you can see it. Um. But if people don't want to smile, that's their business. Yeah, I try to smile too because smiling, a smile in the whole world, like I said, smile in the whole world smiles with you. You know, there's no sense of frowning, you know, because a smile is like a frown that's turned upside down, you know, and you're, there's my other Alexis. Hi, Alexis. Good to see you, sis. Look at my, my dip. And this is a dip for your fruits, like strawberries, whatever. And I'll tell you what's in it, Alexis. This has a, 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 a cup and a half, <coughs> excuse me, of, of uh, good to see you, Alexis, a cup and a half of raw almonds, a cup and a fourth of unsweetened almond milk, a two-thirds cup of pitted dates, one tablespoon of um, cocoa powder, but we know I don't use cocoa powder, I use carob, and then one teaspoon of vanilla powder, or vanilla extract if you don't have vanilla powder. So I don't have the vanilla powder, so I use the vanilla extract. And it does look really good. Look at that. Doesn't... Oh, no. I think I'm going to block this one right now. I'm going to block this guy right there. Block him. Whoops. No, I don't want to block that one. I want to block Alexis. i got to block this one here. There. There. got to block that one. You see that one? You, you see that one? Block him immediately. Block him immediately. He's been blocked. He can't say anymore. Yeah, I, caught, I beat him to the punch, didn't I? <laughs> I beat him to the punch. I recognize the username. All you guys can block on your end too. Just start blocking. Block, 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 block. Or report because that's what we need to do. Um, he's got a brand and he probably doesn't have any followers. And, a, and I wasn't, I'm not going to welcome anybody like that to Periscope. As far as I'm concerned, they can <laughs> shove off. But you know, <laughs> I recognize, I recognize it was the same guy that came in before and I beat him to the punch. You know, you got to. I do that every once in a while. I go to other people's periscopes, and if I see somebody come in with a real bad username, I don't even let them say anything. I block him immediately, um, and I just I uh, I try not to uh, I try not to get them, let them say it. He tried to talk, but he couldn't get anything in because he was already blocked. So he's gone. Let him make another account. Like I said, is he stupid? Doesn't he realize every account he makes, I'm going to block it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, this guy is, you, you've been missing all the, but it's, the drama is really bad in here, Alexis. I've got a stalker. Yeah, all we do is, but you know something, I've been killing them with kindness. When they come in, I just tell them, well, um, 
God loves you and I love you and I hope that you're saved someday. Of course, I didn't even give him a chance to say anything. I just blocked him because I knew who it was. Um, he's trying to say I've got a tumor and all this and that. You know, it's it's terrible. They're, why they're picking on me, I have no idea. Uh, you know, and it's getting it's getting really old. And I know my daughter, Laura, she's getting a little tired of it. It's, it's upsetting to her, too. Uh, you got that right. He sure is, Alexis. He's trying to bring us all down. It's that these This guy or guys is... His minions, I call them. He's got minions that are doing his work, bidding, doing his bidding for him, and that's terrible. Let them do their, let them, you know, go bother somebody else, you know. We know the time is very short, so that's why he's doing that. But anyway, you know, um, you know, I'm not going to, you know something? I'm not going to leave Periscope just because some of this guy comes in here. You know something? And I told my daughter this morning, the more he does it, the more determined I am to be in here. He, the more, because if he, you know, not that he, if he would stop, I would leave, I wouldn't. But the more he does it, the more determined I am to stay in here. And I'm going to keep on doing these cooking scopes. Because I know you guys want me in here. It's only because of you I'm here in the first place. Because I don't want to talk to myself. I mean, I don't want to hear myself talk without uh, people commenting back or anything. Which I have to listen to myself talk now, but... During sometimes during the day, I'll start talking to myself, and it's what if I answer myself, that's a big problem. But anyway, I don't want to. I don't want to just be talking to myself with nobody in here to listen to me. That's what I meant to say. Um, you guys come in here and you're listening to me. Um, I may rattle on, ramble on and on sometimes, but you know I have good intentions. I'm here for one reason and one reason only to show you how I make different things, and I'm not here to convince anybody to become vegan. I'm not here to convince anybody to to uh, be Christian or anything like that. I come in here just to be me and to show you what you can do making different foods, just just uh, with pamper, using Pampered Chef tools, you know. And yeah, that's all we can do is just pray. Prayer prayer changes things, you know. And that's all we can do is, uh, and <laughs> you're right, lots of prayers. And I pray all the time, you know. I told the Lord, I says, I don't know why this is happening, Lord. But you know, it's like somebody told me yesterday, they said, I'm doing something right, you know, because I'm getting attacked. I'm absolutely doing something right. So since I'm doing something right, just let it happen. Let it be because they can't, they can't do anything to me anyway. I mean, like the one come in yesterday said they want to skin me like a cat and I'm cracking up laughing and says, well, how do you skin a cat anyway? You know, <laughs> how do you skin a cat? You, you got to be dead to skin a cat. There's nothing they could do to me anyway. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do these as long as I can because, like I said, my daughter's having her 44th birthday tomorrow. And I want to sing happy birthday to her when I, when I come on tomorrow. Get people in here tomorrow. And she comes in, then I'll sing happy birthday. And everybody can wish her a happy birthday. Um, Alexis mentioned her name in her Periscope this morning. Um, yep, you're right. You're right. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Just have to let it ride. Yep. Yep. All I can say is God be with them. God's with me every day of the week, you know. Um, those that are just coming in, if you want to see, know how to make this, it's very simple. This will keep in a container in about 10 days. They stay in the refrigerator for 10 days. It's best to put it in a glass container. If you have, well, thank you so much for the soup. Oh my goodness, look at those super hearts. Wow. Thank you so much, Cheryl. You guys are awesome. You really are. Thank you so much. This will keep for about 10 days in the refrigerator. They say put it in a glass container. Um, and you know, strawberries are so good. And I would eat, I love strawberries. And I'm always thinking, wow, what can I dip my strawberries in? Well, this is right here is really good to dip them in. Um, I'm going to try and put this on my cereal too and see what it tastes like. I know it's going to be really good. It's almost like a little a little um, chocolate sauce or whatever you want to call it. But it really made up nicely in my Vitamix, didn't it though? Look at that. I mean, can you see it? Look how nice it made up. And it's going to look, it's going to be nice and thick. And it keeps it for 10 days. I mean, I'll use it up within that. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe caramel apples or regular. Yeah, because I eat a lot of apples. That's a good idea. You know, I could uh, take apples and, you know, peel them and core them or whatever. And sp spread this on my apple. I could do that too. That's right. I could do that. Spread it on apples. Absolutely, because I love apples. That's maybe pears. Pears too, because I love pears. So I'll start buying me a lot of fruits because now I've got something to put on them. This looks so good. Um, and if anybody else is wondering about the carob, I got it through Amazon. Um, 
pineapple. Hmm. I wouldn't think of pineapple, but you know what? It might taste pretty good on pineapple, Cheryl. That 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 might be a good idea. But I would think apples would work. Um, you know, I'm not too much into cherries, strawberries. Uh, yeah, chocolate bananas. Yeah, yeah. That you could take. Yep. I think bananas would work too because I love bananas. I got plenty of bananas. I would think that. So when you make this. Um, Yes, it's a fruit dip is exactly what it is. It's a fruit dip. And when I post this on my vegan Facebook page, I'll tell people that this is a fruit dip. It's not for your tortilla chips or veggies or anything like that. It's a fruit dip, which I didn't know there was such a thing out there. Because you know me, I'm always looking for recipes. I started early this morning, and when I come across this, I said, wow, look at this, a chocolate almond dip. And I looked at the, looked at the uh, ingredients and looked at the recipe, well, I can make that. I'll come in here and make this because I think people would be appreciative of it. This is amazing. Five ingredients. And you know, Alexis has said before, the less ingredients, the better. Well, you can't go wrong with only five ingredients. You don't have that much to worry about. No sugar in it. It's your dates that are make the sweetness. And that's what I like about it. You don't add any sugar at all. There's a two-thirds cup of dates in here. Of course, are pitted dates and... That's what made the sweetness, and it still looks so good. And I used a tablespoon of the carob powder. It didn't take very much, and still it looks good. It tastes really good, too, because I've tried it. It's really, really good. Um, I'm going to like this dip. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll be using it up pretty fast, and then I could go and make it again. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. It might work on pound cake. Yeah, I think so. Yep, yep. Um, let's see. What else can I think of? Um, I don't know if it would, huh. I want to know if, I, if it tastes good on toast in the morning. You know, you could try it. You know, I just think about that toast. You could use it like butter and toast. It might work. I might try that. I don't know. <laughs> it's so many. Um, I have no idea, but that person's been doing it since I came in here. There have been cameras been popping up. As See, there's green uh, green um, things popping up instead of um, uh, hearts. Uh Oh, did they? Oh, wonderful, Erlene. I am so glad. I am so glad. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, Nutella. Yeah, that. Yeah, I'm gonna try this in the morning and see how. It, and I'm gonna let people know when I come on tomorrow. I'll see how. It, how I'm gonna let you know how it was because that that would be good too. Yeah, Nutella. Um, there is a uh, recipe on Pinterest for Nutella. I haven't tried to make it yet, but there is a vegan Nutella. Hi, Nico. Good to see you. Look at my fruit dip. This is basically what it is. It's a fruit dip. And I will let you know what it has, what it has in it. So if you want to make it yourself, and I'll, I, in fact, let me go ahead. Let me do this. If you want to go ahead and screenshot it, go ahead and screenshot it. And then I can go, oh, thank you so much. And you too, Sister Nico. Good to see you. I hope, hope you and Hugh are doing okay. If you want to take a screenshot of this, go ahead and screenshot it, and then I can I can tell you what the recipe is. Okay, it's a one and a half cup of raw almonds. Oh, thank you, thank you, and you too. Good. A cup and a quarter of unsweetened almond milk, a two-thirds cup of pitted dates, a, t a tablespoon of cocoa powder, but everybody knows I use carob in place of cocoa powder, and a teaspoon of vanilla powder or vanilla extract, which I don't have vanilla powder, so I use the vanilla extract, the non-alcohol. And this is what I come up with. I've already tried it, and it's very good. It keeps it, they say, suggest, if you have a high-speed blender, to mix it in there because it works a lot better because I've got a Vitamix, and I mixed it in that. Put it in a glass container and put it in the refrigerator, and he said it'll keep for 10 days. I intend to use this on, you know, different things like my fruits. I'm going to try it on toast. I'm going to try it on bananas and see what I could come up with. Because there's, listen, I think it's limitless what you can use this for. And I never thought there was such a thing until I saw it on Pinterest. I mean, it's amazing. There are so many good recipes on Pinterest. I mean, I'm finding one recipe after another. I start out early in the morning and look at it. And sometimes when my daughter calls, I'm still looking because I haven't found the thing I want to make yet. But, you know, there's so many out there. I'm glad I'm a member of the Pinterest so that I can look for for those recipes. Yumly has different things too, allrecipes.com, but I like Pinterest. Uh, yeah, that's that's right. That sounds good too. Pancakes, yeah, absolutely. In lieu of syrup, yeah, that would work. 
Even French toast, maybe? French toast probably would be good, too. Yeah, hi. Good to see you. Welcome. Here is my crepes. Yeah, Alexis could use this for her crepes. She certainly could because she made crepes the other day. If she had this recipe, it probably would have been really good. Here is my uh, my fruit dip. Um, this is what it, it is. Only five ingredients. Waffles. Yeah, there you go, Cheryl. That would be good on waffles. Yeah, see, Alexis could make this and she could make this for, for, for some of the stuff that she makes in the morning. She could put it on her waffles. She could put it on her crepes, you know. Fix up, put this on Bryce's toast maybe for breakfast or whatever. He probably would like it. Of course, I know she'd use cocoa powder. That's understandable. I don't expect everybody to use carob, but that's what I use. Um, yeah, I know. She makes good waffle sticks, doesn't she? Yeah, she could She could uh, spread it on there or she could dip the waffle stick right in it. Um, she, yeah, yeah, you're right, using your new waffle pan. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Thank you to everybody coming in. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for the super hearts. You guys are awesome. You guys are so amazing because I'm trying to get enough super hearts every month to get paid up. You guys are so awesome. I so truly appreciate you. Here is my fruit dip. It's very, very simple to make. Only five ingredients. Um, and I can tell you what those five ingredients are. And everybody should have this um, in your kitchen, a cupboard, except for carob. I know I'm vegan, so I'll, I'm, I substitute carob for cocoa powder. But everything else you should have, like your raw, uh, raw almonds, which is a cup and a uh, half of raw almonds, then a cup and a quarter of unsweetened almond milk, two-thirds cup of pitted dates. And that's where you get the, oh, make Thai salad dressing. Oh, yeah, you're probably right, Alexis. And uh, two-thirds cups of pitted dates and a, like a tablespoon of, of uh, cocoa powder, which I use, I use carob, and then a teaspoon of vanilla powder or vanilla extract, because I don't have the vanilla powder. Oh, you, oh, you're so welcome, you know. I just happened to think about this could go on so many things. It's limitless. Like I said, it lasts for 10 days in the refrigerator, but you could find so many different things to put it on. Your waffle sticks that you make, Alexis, this would be real good on those waffle sticks that you make, dipping them in there, or you could spread it on if you wanted to. I'll spread it on pancakes. Oh, thank you, Marion, for the super hearts. Wow, the super hearts are really coming in today. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. You guys are awesome. You're really awesome. I really appreciate this so much. But I, I'm trying to think of different ideas because I'm going to try different ideas myself, too. You know, pancakes, waffles, French toast. Um, I don't know about regular toast. Maybe. Somebody said bananas. Yeah. Take a banana and just start and peel it and start dipping that in there. You know, wow, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that would work too. Smoothie or a shake. Well, you know something? God bless you anyway. You are, you are, a, you are, a love, you are a nice person. Or you, you're, you might be nice on the outside, but you're very bad on the inside. But you know, God loves you and I love you too. And I hope that you're, you're saved someday. I don't hate you for what you said. I don't hate you for what you said, but I'm going to have to let you go. I'm going to have to let you go. I cannot let you stay in here. Sorry. Can't let you stay in here. Thank you. Uh, thank you for muting that. And I'm just going to go ahead and write, write. There we go. I blocked him. That's the. I'm really. I'm really. <laughs> it's a third one today. Thank you. But you guys can go ahead. Go ahead and take those. If you can see his comments, go ahead and take them and, and mark them. You can mute him, but go back and mark his his um, comments for abuse, please. Because that Periscope needs to know what's going on so they can stop this. Hi, John. Yeah. Hi, John. How do you like my fruit dip? I did this in my Vitamix. It's only five ingredients. Five ingredients and very simple to make. And let me tell you what those ingredients are, John. You have um, almonds, a cup and a half of raw almonds, a cup and a fourth of your unsweetened almond milk. Good to see you, John, and good to see you, too, those that are coming, coming in. Uh, Two-thirds cups of pitted dates. And then, of course, if you want to use a tablespoon of cocoa powder, those are not vegan, that's fine. I use carob powder in lieu of cocoa powder, but I'm not going to tell you not to use cocoa powder. But that's um, that's me. Uh, and one teaspoon of vanilla powder, which is probably hard to find. So you use um, your um, vanilla extract in lieu of your van uh, vanilla powder. That's all it has is five ingredients. If you have a high-speed blender, it might work in a food processor. I'm not sure. I have both, but I thought I'll try my Vitamix. But look how well this mixed up in that. 
Didn't this work up great in this? Oh, didn't work real well in this. I see you're back again, Tanny. It worked real well. And it tastes really good. I've tried it, too. But we've been coming up with different different ideas to put, you know, to use for this. And we've come up with a lot. I mean, Alexis makes crepes. She can put this in her crepes. can be used on waffle sticks. can be used on pancakes, maybe. French toast. Uh, dip bananas in it. Strawberries, even. Um, whatever you want to put in it. You know, I've got a banana right over Let me see. I got some bananas. Let's see how this is going to be. These bananas are trying to get a little ripe. So I'm going to try to eat one of these. And Sorry for eating in front of you. <laughs> oh. So I want to I want to see how this is going to be. I'm going to um, let me throw this peeling away. Let me cut off, take my, take a paring knife. Oh, yeah, paring knives are really sharp, too. I was doing something with my paring knife before I came in here, and I dropped it. You know how it landed? It landed stuck in the floor. So the paring knives are really sharp. Okay, let's, let's put this in here. See how it's going to be. Mm. Yep, it works. That really, really works. Because these are real ripe bananas anyway. Works. So if you want to do that, try it. It really works. Yeah. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 And it is very, very tasty. Very, very tasty. Five ingredients. Can't get me wrong. I keep... I keep raw almonds on hand. I buy them in a store I shop at called Winco Foods. I buy, they got them in bulk, and I buy a bunch of them. And then I put them in a, in a container. And I'll show you the container I keep them in. This is an airtight container. Um, and I keep them in here, and they keep up really nice. Um, oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So that's the container I keep it in. Um, yeah, uh, my daughter's telling about that John Harris, you know, we don't know who's, who, who's who, you know, until they come in here and start saying some of the things they're saying, let me get a knife. I'm going to get a, find a knife and I'm going to spread some of that on there. Get off my spoon. Here. Mmm. 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 Mm. Wow. This is good. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very good. So I suggest you guys try this. You would really like that. Like I said, if you want to use your cocoa powder, go right ahead. Because um, I know not people, the non vegans are going to use the cocoa powder. Since I'm, since I'm vegan, I don't use it. But uh, if you want to use cocoa powder, feel right. You feel feel uh, you know. Don't feel obligated to use carob unless you want to. Um. <laughs> oh, I know. So do I. Mmm, <laughs> it is so good. Mm. You know, you aren't the only person that tells me I'm making them hungry. I, a lot of people tell me I'm making them hungry. <laughs> this is really good, though. Mmm, it is. It is. Look at that. And it came out real nice in my Vitamix. I didn't even have to use the tamper. And I just let it sit until it almost had four mounds, you know. But it, it'll keep it'll keep 10 days in the refrigerator. They say to use a glass container to keep it in. Um, yeah, you will, Cheryl. I'm going to post this up on my vegan Facebook page. And I know you're a member of it. And uh, it's a simple recipe. I think you're going to like it, Cheryl. Because if you like straw, you know, have strawberries and bananas or... Maybe even peaches would, would work, you know. It'll go on there, too, you know. Mm. It really works. Mm. It's real good on bananas. So I'm, I, I don't know who made the suggestion on bananas, but mm, mm, very good. Very good. Um, pineapple. Somebody suggested pineapple. I don't have a pineapple yet, but, you know, it might be pretty good on pineapple, too. Um or you, like I said, take a bowl of uh, make 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 
like maybe frozen raspberries and strawberries and blueberries. Put them and put this, spread this on top. Just take a, a dollop of it and melons. There you go. That's another idea. Absolutely. Wow, you guys are coming up with real good ideas. That would work too, Cheryl. Yeah, melons. Oh, man. You know, there's so many things you can use this for. Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm, I really am happy that we guys come up, you know, we're all kind of collaborating together to come up with, with good ideas of what we can use this for. Because, you know, plan ahead is what I say. You make it, then you say, well, what can I use this for? Oh, now I know. We talked about it in Karen Scope. This is what we can use it for. Uh, oh, thank you so much. You know, I'm just trying to be me. Uh, marshmallows, yeah, vegan marshmallows probably. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make it better than what it was. You know, I try to try to leave the drama beside, uh, you know, behind me, and just try to make this a fun scope. We laugh, you know. That's what this all about. I don't have the chat on for that very reason because of the of the people that are coming in here and doing what they're doing. I don't want any any more problems with them than that. So until it settles down where I don't get them anymore, I won't put the chat on. At least on my cooking scopes anyway. So. And I know people are going to miss that, but I don't miss it right now. But anyway, I have I have a lot of fun trying to come up with different ideas. And we're all helping each other. You know, you're helping me and I'm helping you. Thinking of different things to put it on. Yeah, melons would be very good, like your um, cantaloupe or your, um, I don't know about watermelon. It might. It might. Um, uh, yeah, there's different different, different kinds of, of cantaloupe. Got the orange and you also got the the green. Um I know what, what this might be good on, too, is, is mangoes. Those things are, are so good. Right? This might be good on those on mangoes. Boy, they're hard, to, they're hard to peel, though, and get the stone out of them. But uh, I love them things, too. So, boy, I'll probably be getting, be getting a bunch of fruit and trying to put this on the fruit. Honeydew, that's it, Cheryl. Thank you. I couldn't remember what it was. Honeydew, yes, they are very good. I think this would work well on the honeydews. Oh, my goodness, it would. I mean, there's, there's so many possibilities with it. You can just use whatever you... Celery, you know, that's a good idea. You could probably use it for celery. It's not meant for your vegetables, but I don't see why not. Because you know what I do? I put peanut butter on celery. So a little peanut butter, spread this on it. I think it would be really good. Because when I was a kid, half ripe man mango, yeah. When I was a kid, I always used to put... I couldn't eat celery unless I had put peanut butter on it. So I would just spread, get a knife and spread peanut butter. Well, you could take you could take a knife and spread this on there instead of peanut butter. That would work too. Yeah, never thought about that. So I'll have to be going to get me some celery now. You know, oh, this is the possibilities are endless. So I'm going to be getting me some fruit this week so I can use this. You know, uh, so I can have dip some fruit in it. Wow, and it's it's so very very good. You know. I don't mean to make you people hungry, but I wanted to try it with bananas and see how it would be. Because uh, I wanted to eat this banana. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. It's got a very good flavor to it, too. Mm. Mm. Everybody knows about carob. It's got a real good flavor. The dates help it sweeten up. Because without sugar, you don't need sugar. You put dates in it. Dates have got uh, enough uh, sweetness as it is. Uh yeah, you're right. I certainly am going to have a whole new shopping list. You bet I am. Boy, I've got this and this and this and this and this. You know, I'll be having fun picking out the fruit that I want to eat with this. You know, and once, and once it's gone, I'll make it again because it's so easy to make. Stuff that I like, I'll make more than once. But if I don't like something, I don't make it again. Because some things don't turn out as well as I'd like for them to. So I, I just don't make them again. But this... Is actually very fulfilling. It really is. I wasn't sure about it at first, but I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. Um, and I thought maybe it was like almond butter or something, but no, it's regular uh, raw almonds. That is awesome that you use raw almonds. I mean, this has got all good, good, good things in it. Raw almonds. If you can find raw almonds now, where I buy the raw almonds at uh, Winco. I buy them in bulk, and I can't remember what I pay for them. They're not real cheap, but they're not as expensive as cashews. For some unknown reason, cashews are very expensive. Yeah, that's what we need, healthy eating. You're absolutely, absolutely right, it's healthy eating. Um, and it's something that is going to be sit with you for a long time. Um, 
all. My goodness, what the world. You are some crazy person. God loves you and I love you too. But you know something? It's time for you to go. Guys, go ahead and, and get him for uh, abuse and then I'll block him. Go ahead and get him for abuse. I'll, I'll re report it for abuse right now and I'll go and block him. Because once it, he's blocked, you can't get him for abuse. Block him and get him for abuse because if you don't, um, there. So, <laughs> good, good. If you got him for abuse, that's what we need to do. We need to get him for abuse. Because that's what that periscope said is to block is to block or report them. Oh, can't use this knife again. Got it on the floor. Um, block them or report them. That's the only good. That's the only way to get him. I knew he's coming several times. Good, good. Thank you, thank you. Because you can mute, but it's best to report too. Because they're never going to stop unless unless periscope does something about keeping them out of here. He's probably the same guy that keeps coming in here. Has no. No followers. Just keeps making new accounts. Hi, Carrie. Good to see you. I've been eating on this, but this is my fruit dip. Doesn't it look good? It's only five ingredients. Very, very healthy. It's good eating. And I'll tell you what it has in it. It has one and a half cup of raw almonds, a cup and a quarter of unsweetened um, almond milk, and it has two-thirds cup of uh, dates, which gives you the, you know, they're pitted dates, but it gives you the uh, sweetness. A uh, tablespoon, it calls for a tablespoon of cocoa powder, but I use carob powder. And then I used a teaspoon of vanilla extract, because I didn't have the vanilla powder. That is all, and I mixed it in my Vitamix, and this is what I got. It'll keep in the refrigerator about 10 days, and you put it in a glass container. It'll keep keep that long. So I'm going to have some good eating. And you can put it on several different um, fruits, you know, strawberries, raspberries, um, blueberries. We thought of different things, you, and I've been dipping and putting my banana in it. Um, anything that you have a fruit, this is really good. Mmm. 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 Really good. So, whatever you can find to use with it, go ahead. Mmm. Doesn't it look good? Pardon me. Oh, good, good. Yes, that's all we can do is block, report, and block. You can go in and report him at, um, you can go in and report him, and then you can block him. Because if you block him on your end, he's not going to come into anybody else's periscope either. Although, like I said, Alexis had two of the ones that came in my scope yesterday into hers this morning because she messaged me on them. Now they're starting to bother her, too. So I told her, I says, well, we, we got to join a haters club, I guess, or stalkers club or something. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's terrible. I mean, they're after her, too. But, you know, it is what it is. I just say, God bless them anyway. <laughs> they don't expect me. I don't, I'm not getting mad at them. I, you know, he hear me. I don't get mad at him. <laughs> well, that's, try, that's probably true. You're probably right that he, if, yeah, I think he is. He's got time on his hands making, but I'm just keep blocking and blocking and blocking. You know, I don't know what Periscope does about the blocked ones. If they, if they handle them differently, I don't know. Um, but I do know they need to do some housekeeping again, and they need to clean up these trolls. You know something? The bots aren't near as bad because they'll do, they'll repeat or, you know, they'll repeat uh, comments. They don't bother you because they don't really say anything but repeat comments. They're not as bad as the trolls. The trolls are the ones that are really, really bad. It's terrible. 100 what? 100 what, um, Tammy? I don't know what she means. Um, she's saying 100, but I don't know what she's talking about. But they are the, they are the craziest ones. Um, 100. Oh. Oh, I don't know what you, I don't know what you meant. But anyway, um. You know, I, it is what it is, and I'm going to come in here anyway because you guys want me in here. You want me to do these every day. I'm going to come in here and do these because you enjoy me finding new recipes. You know, and I I have just as much fun finding those recipes and making them as you do watching me make them because they are the best fun ever. I mean, it may take me a while to look and get what I want, but I'm, I just keep on searching and searching and searching. And by the way, anybody that was in my Periscope yesterday and watched me make the walnut lentils, they are so delicious. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Um, 
They are delicious. I had some again for lunch today. It's really good. Well, and I'm going to have to get me some shredded lettuce to put on, but it's so good. I had a couple of them again today for lunch. They are very, very good. I just heat the, heat, heat the walnut lentils up in the microwave and just put them on my tortillas. I have I got tortillas to get again because they're gone now, but they are so good. In case anybody wondered, they really came out nice. They tasted real good. And now, like I said, the Instapot is fast, especially in the summertime. I'll probably use it a lot this summer because... Who likes to be in the kitchen when it's real hot out? Because it heats your kitchen up. With the Instapot or Quick Cooker, you don't have to because it makes fast work of your meals, you know, half hour at the most, depending on what it is you're making, you know, and get it done, gets it done in fast work so that you can get out of the kitchen and, and do what you have to do, maybe outside or whatever you have to do, you know. It, I love it, you know, and Alexis calls me a pro at it. I, I don't consider myself a pro. It's just that I know a little bit more about it than I did before because the more I use it, the easier it becomes to use. It seems simple, you know, maybe a little scary at first, but I enjoy using it and I, I like using it. So, and any, anybody that finds an Instapot, you have a quick cooker, the Instapot recipes work for the quick cooker. People keep asking that all the time. Any recipe, any Instapot recipe will work for it. So you can't find a quick cooker cookbook because they just don't have them. I mean, you got you can find their recipes online, but there are very few of them. So I just get an Instapot cookbook and then just you know kind of follow it and then just kind of change the because the wording's different because you have sear for the quick cooker and saute for the instapot you have manual for the um uh instapot and you have qu um custom for the quick cooker so there you go it's just basically the same it's just the wording is different the concept is the same but i'll probably use that a lot this summer you know i'll be doing a making a lot of ice cream um yeah, I know. It is the ease of cooking, isn't it? It is. It is. There's another ice cream I want to make. I found it today on Pinterest, but I haven't got the ras it's a raspberry ice cream. Oh, it looks so freaking... I think you use coconut cream or coconut milk with it, plus uh, your uh, bananas. And uh, I'll have to look it up again. On Pinterest, it was on the, on the desserts. And I'll have to print that out and maybe make that oh and it's getting to the point because my ice cream is all gone i finished mine up the other day so i don't have any ice cream left and uh it's real easy to make it in the vitamix it comes out real fast and then just put it in a container you know i can eat some put it in a bowl and eat some and then put the rest in a container but this is very simple to make it looks very pretty uh oh i know i know yeah yeah and that yep yep i know what you mean yep yep it's uh, it's amazing what you can do with these Pampered Chef products, you know. I have a lot of them, but I don't have everything. But I keep finding more and more. I've got some coming from um, Cheryl's show. I don't know when I'll be getting those, but Cheryl Frazier finished up a show, and I ordered from her, so I've got stuff coming from her show. So I'll probably be unboxing that when I get it. It's not too awful much, but I'll unbox that. But I love making things using Pampered Chef tools. Because, you know, when I first started cooking a long time ago, um... I didn't have the Pampered Chef tools, but as I gradually built them up, I use them now and I put my other ones away and don't even bother with them because I find the Pampered Chef tools are much easier to use uh, and, they're, they, they, and they're good quality. Um, oh, you got your first box? All right, Cheryl, from your show probably. Cool. Mine will probably be coming Probably either the end of this week, maybe next week. I don't know. I haven't got any notification from Alexis yet when it's coming. I don't even worry about it, but it'll, it'll be here when it when it when when it's here. But uh, I do know that I ordered from your show, I ordered about a hundred and some dollars worth. So I'm looking forward to getting that. Um, but when I first started these cooking uh, scopes, I didn't have the Pampered Chef. I just had to make do with what I had. But now that I've got Pampered Chef, I don't even use anything else anymore. I use all my Pampered Chef. You know, when I use my... Use the spoons in my um, quick cooker and that. They're all the Pampered Chef spoons. They're the teak wood. And that's these here. Um, I've got one I just used, but these are the teak wood. I use these because I love these things. They're so nice to have. Of course, I use the the uh, measuring spoons, the measuring cups, like I, I did the, uh, this, the uh, measure all. I use this. Okay. Thank Good to... Uh, Thank you for coming in, Cheryl, and God bless you, and have a great day, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Um, the measure all, and, you know, I use the stackable spoons and the um, the ones that you, the uh, sliders, too. 
I and I've got the readable measuring cups as well. I love everything about Pampered Chef. There's good quality. Um, I, thank you. And it's good quality, and I love using the Pampered Chef products. But that's why I come in here to show you how you can use Pampered Chef tools like Alexis does. You know, and my style of cooking is different than hers. Hers is different than mine. We're not the same by any means. Um, I can learn from her, and she can learn from me. We can learn from each other, and that's what it's all about, learning from each other. You know, picking up on things that one person does that the other one might want to try or something like that. Picking up on things, you know. That's how I've gotten a lot of um, things from her. I've gotten a lot of ideas from her, and I'll continue to do so. I don't, never, never in her live scopes, but I'm on there to watch her replays. I watched her replay this morning to see... Watch, well, with her granola, which I've made granola too. Granola is so good. I may make that again sometime. It's been a while since I made that, but it's so good. But I love finding different recipes that I can make to come in here and show you how to make them. I'm going to be going in a little bit, but I want you to see, I'll show this again, what this looks like. This is a very simple recipe. Five ingredients, that's it, five. You cannot go wrong. You saw me eat it with my banana. It came out very, very good. Um, and I intend to put this up on my Facebook page and let everybody try it to see what they think of it because I know you're going to like it once you try it. Very simple to make. No problem at all. If you've got a high-speed, like you can try it in a, in a food processor if you don't have a high-speed mixer. It probably would work okay. Um, might just take a little, you might have to grind your almonds down a little bit maybe, but with my Vitamix, it, it just... <laughs> Guess it pulverizes everything, so I didn't have to grind it down. But try it and see if you like it, and let me know how it came out. I let everybody know how this came out. If this is coming out perfect. I'm going to try it on uh, my banana. Tastes very good. I'm going to try it on it. Um, strawberries, maybe, and some other things. I'm going to go to the store tomorrow and pick up some things. But in the meantime, um, I thank you all for coming in and sharing out and inviting your followers and the super hearts. God bless you for the super hearts. I thank you very much for those. I so much appreciate it. And I hope your the rest of your day is is a blessing. And I and until we meet again, I'm coming in again tomorrow. I oh, there's no little girl. But before I go, I'll show you this. This is my um, this is my five ingredient fruit dip. Uh, that's basically what it is. You use fruit. Now I used I took a banana and I ate it in front of everybody and dipped it in here. Um, it's very very good. You can put it on different things. It's it's endless what you can use it for. Uh, melons, uh, bananas. Uh, strawberries, um, whatever you want to use it for. It's a fruit dip. And I'll, those that just came in, I'll give you the five ingredients. It's got almonds in it, almond milk, um, dates. Um, of course, I've got carob in it and vanilla extract. That's all it's got in it. And I will post it up on my vegan pages to how much it has in it so that you can make it yourself. With that being said, I hope your day goes get, goes very, very well. You're blessed beyond measure. And I don't know what I'll be making until I come in tomorrow. I hope I'll, I'll find something again. Maybe I'll make the ice cream that I found this morning. I might do that because this is getting time of year to make ice cream. So I may do that. Eat my lunch and then come in and make ice cream. Would you like that? Would you like for me to make ice cream tomorrow? I can sure do it. Anyway, until we meet again, I hope you're, you have a, a wonderful day and night. And until we meet again, God bless you. Take care and bye-bye.